Earlier this year, the Media Complaints Committee found that the NBC's decision not to refer Aleta Nguvauva as Ombaro Shitambi on all its platforms was in breach of the Code of Ethics and Conduct for the Namibian Media, as well as the right to self-identify of the Ovambanderu community. The NBC appealed the ruling on the ground of vagueness and that the committee's decision was based on hearsay. In a turn of events, the hearing was cut short following NBC's representative Advocate Unanitha Hengari's request for the chairperson to recuse himself. Advocate Hengari, in his submission, argued that it is inappropriate for Kennedy Karisep to sit during the proceedings due to collegial relationship with the media ombudsman. However, lawyer and daughter's Hans Kaumbi of the Ovamandero Traditional Council objected, stating that the reasons given do not grant the basis for recusal. She suggested for a substantive application by the NBC to give the respondent a chance to respond and a decision to be made in that regard. The issue of bias was also raised earlier. Um, in was raised to? Bias um, was raised before these proceedings earlier. Um, and then when I established that uh, you are colleagues with uh, the media boots person, it then anchored. Uh, the perceived bias that um, we believe the chairperson has demonstrated. All we are asking is for you to <coughs> reflect on the issue that we raised. Um, we raise it very seriously and that you consider uh, reducing yourself from these proceedings. If my colleague at this late stage in the game wants to raise this, that he bring a proper application that can be argued and that this committee set timelines within which that arguments can be heard because we're clearly making this a courtroom. Those are my submissions. Karisep stated that it defeats the purpose of the hearing if parties do not have confidence in the panel, hence the state of proceedings. It's important in ADR processes of this nature that the parties must have confidence in these proceedings. And the slightest degree of doubt, impartiality, and so forth from a council is a very serious allegation, of which, of course, the code doesn't have provisions on the way forward. And I think in that instance, the most appropriate thing for the dignity of these proceedings is then to stay the process until such time that a new committee is established of the panelists and the parties then should also be allowed to indicate probably before the proceedings whether they are in agreement with the panel that is constituted by the editors forum.